You have studied English for years, but you still can't speak English well. You have tried many methods, but you still can't speak English fluently or you can't pronounce English words correctly. You can read, but you feel too shy to speak English or too nervous to speak English. Is this the situation that you have ever been before? The good news is this is very normal. You have simply using the ineffective method to learn to speak English. For those of us experience the similar problem, we understand the better all too well. If you are interested to know more about what works for me in my journey to be able to speak English confidently, then keep on watching. Now, before I get into further details, something that you need to know about is that I have split the videos into small chapters for better understanding. I have included the timestamp in the description box down below. Feel free to skip around to the part that you want to watch. Hi everyone, I'm Chien. I'm a second year medical doctor working in Malaysia. Thank you all for joining me today. Today, we are going to be talking about how I learned English by myself in the comfort of my own home. I was in your situation before, feeling shy and insecure whenever I need to speak English. But now, I'm able to speak English confidently. I accomplished that within one year without spending a, a dime. Even though my English speaking isn't perfect, I'm still making a lot of mistakes in pronunciation and grammar. But English is a foreign language to us anyway. Making mistakes in speaking foreign language is totally normal. The primary purpose of a language is to facilitate communication. So as long as we can express ourselves in English effortlessly and people around us can understand us, it is something to be proud of. So now I'm going to teach you the most effective method that I have been using in order to learn how to speak English fluently. So let's start with my English background. As you can see, I'm a Chinese. So English wasn't my first language. I studied in elementary school and high school that have, that have only Chinese students, which means I have zero exposure to English speaking environments until my college year. Although English is a compulsory subject for us to learn and study in our country, I was only able to speak and write in simple English. English used to be the weakest subject and the subject that I hate the most. Even though I was able to score an A during my final exam, I spoke no English until my college year. In my college years of studying A-levels in Taylor's College, even though there are a lot of international students around the campus, I chose to mix with Chinese students so that I'm able to speak in Mandarin that I'm most comfortable with. Since there are quite a lot of Chinese students around my batch, I was able to go through my college without really speaking any English. Even though in the back of my mind, I always wanted to learn to speak English. However, I was too shy and pressured whenever I communicate with someone who can speak English fluently. Hence, I made no progress in learning to speak English during my college year. When I first entered my university in International Medical Universities, I can understand some English but not too much. My vocabulary was very limited. My accent was very strong. I first taught in Mandarin and I translated into my own version of English to speak to people. The problem was people couldn't understand my English. In short, my English was bad. This started to give me problems as there are a lot of different ethnicities in my universities and I couldn't even express myself in simple English. I felt excluded whenever there is a big group discussion on going using English. The reason why I decided to learn English. I remember feeling frustrated, unable to express myself fully whenever surrounded by English speakers. This situation has gotten worse since my years in universities. Furthermore, I became more worried about my future of becoming a doctor and couldn't even express the diseases in English to my patient. That inspired me to start looking for opportunities to improve my English fluency. I finally started to learn how to speak English fluently in my fourth year of medical school. But as I began to learn English, something remarkable happened. English became more than just words on a page. It became a bridge to a world of possibilities. Through English, I was able to make friends with students from English-educated background and understand YouTubers from English-speaking country without using subtitles. Learning English has given me the confidence to pursue my dream, to connect with other people in a deeper level. For me, learning English is not just about mastering a language. It is about embracing a journey of self-discovery, growth, and connection. Step 1. Set your goal. 
Setting your goal is deciding on what you want. Congratulations, you have already decided on what you want. By clicking into this video, you are very clear that your step one is to speak English fluently. Clarity is power. The more clear you are on what you want, the more precise your brain takes you to your target. You must know exactly what you want so that you know exactly where to go. When started looking for methods to improve my English, I decided I wanted to speak fluent English. With the target set in place, I started working to reach the target. I work only on my spare times, but with the target set inside, I aim at the target and knew exactly where to go. There are two effective methods to set your goal, inspiration and desperation. For me, it was easy. What kind of impression will I give my patient if I could only speak broken, translated English with a strong accent? Am I going to be able to friend with Chinese only? That was it. For me, it was desperation. If I don't do anything about my broken English, I will be socially awkward all the time. But if I improve my English and able to speak English fluently, I'll be able to communicate with people who are able to speak English on me. Find a reason why you must speak English fluently. A reason so strong that you must do it. Find that reason now, then set your goal. Once you have decided on exactly what you want, it is critical that you focusing on your target. Step 1 is just setting your target in place. With that in mind, you are now ready to proceed to step 2. Step 2. Take action. So, how are you going to learn how to speak English at home for free? First, you need to choose the material that are suitable for you at home. Carefully choosing the correct materials is the key to your success. The material that you choose will determine whether you will speak good English, bad English, right English or wrong English. The pronunciations of British English and American English are very different. So choosing only one accent to practice is the key to success. For me, I have chosen American English as American English seems easier to practice compared to British English. In order to learn English for free and fun at the same time, you can choose to learn from YouTube videos or other videos that spikes your interest. The first YouTube videos that I use to practice is English Coach Chat. The English that he uses is relatively simple. He makes videos that are meant for practicing English using shadowing method. After I'm able to shadow most of his video, I proceeded to the YouTube videos that are more complex. Since I enjoy watching YouTube videos like cooking channels and lifestyle videos, Hence, I practice my English with American YouTubers like Janim and Inga Lam. Step 3. Watching video with subtitles. Select videos that interest you, such as movies, TV shows, documentaries, and educational videos. When you enjoy the content, you are more likely to stay engaged and motivated to learn. Begin by watching videos with English subtitles. This allows you to associate the spoken word with their written form improving vocabulary, spelling, and understanding. Pay close attention to the pronunciation, intonation, and rhythm of the spoken words. Step 4. Listen and repeat at the same time. Listen to the native study material and repeat what you hear immediately. I mean immediately, right at the moment you hear it. I would like to stress the importance of this. When you hear the beginning of the sentence, repeat the beginning of the sentence. When you hear the middle of the sentence, you repeat the middle of the sentence. When you hear the end of the sentence, you repeat the end of the sentence. Whenever you hear something, repeat that immediately. In other words, repeat back the words as quickly as you can. Say it back without trying to understand it or memorize it. Yes, I say it right. Say it back without trying to memorize it or understand it. Just repeat what you hear immediately as quickly as you can. And relax, what you're doing here is naturally building your fluency. You are doing this to train your brain, your mouth, your lips, your tongue, your throat, your lung, your stomach, and everything else you need to speak English without first translating it. So just say what you hear immediately without trying to understand it or memorize it. Let the meaning, the grammar, the vocabulary, and everything else build subconsciously. In the beginning of the practice, if you hear words that you don't know how to say or words that are hard to say, that's perfectly fine. Just try to say the words or try to make some noise and move on. Step 5. 
Finish repeating the whole material. Listen to and repeat the whole material from the beginning straight to the end. If you have to pause it, pause it. When you come back, keep going from where you left off. What you are doing here is building your flow, making you speak whole sentences instead of just words. So make sure you repeat whole sentences and whole material from the beginning to the end. Again, if you come across something that you can't say correctly or you can't say at all, that's fine. Just make some noise and move on. Remember, if there are words that you can't say, keep on going forward. Continue all the way to the end. Repeat the whole material for at least three times. Repeat everything you know how to say and make some noise on the things that you don't know how to say. Just do your best and keep moving forward until you reach the end. Start 6. Rewind and repeat the words you can't say as many times as you need. Now that you have listened to and repeated the whole things for 3 times and you know the sentence flow, it is time to listen to and repeat the same thing again. Yet this time, immediately go back to the words that you can't say or have hard time to say. Listen to them again and try to say them again. Try to say them again and listen back to them again. Try once, twice, three times, try as many times as you can until you can finally say them. The most important point of using this method is ignore the meaning of videos and focus only on speaking. When you hear and repeat some words that you don't know the meaning of, just ignore the meaning of the words and keep practicing speaking. Avoid translating the words. You want to understand these words in English, not in other languages. To speak English fluently, you will need to speak English naturally. Let the meaning of the words come to you naturally in English and you can accomplish that by learning more. When you master your speaking, you will understand your words automatically in English. So, ignore the meaning and focus on speaking and only on speaking. <laughs> And let it rest for 20 to 25 minutes. Step 7. Shadowing. Now that you have repeated the materials for a few times, you can now proceed to the most important part of practicing English, which is shadowing. Shadowing requires you to say the words out loud together with the native speaker in the video that you chose. By using this method, you can learn the intonation, pronunciation, and structure of the English sentences subconsciously. Step 8. Record your English. Congratulations for getting this far. Now it is time for you to record your voice repeating the same piece of native study material. Take out your recording device and record yourself repeating the very same piece of native study material that you have been practicing. Save your voice file. Now it is time to compare your recording. Listen to your recording and compare them to the original audio. Pay attention to areas where you need improvement such as pronunciation and rhythm and strive to make adjustment in your next practice session. When I'm practicing my English, I'm actually quite lazy of recording my voice and comparing the voice to the original audio. Usually, I'll make sure that I'm able to shadow at same same speed as the native speaker in the video. Then I'll proceed to the next material. Once in a while, only I will record my voice speaking in English in order to make sure that I'm making progress. Step nine: practice, practice, practice. Now that you know the formula, it is time for you to learn what to do to speak English fluently. If you want to speak English fluently, just knowing how to speak English will not get you there. You will have to practice speaking English. I mean, literally practice speaking English over and over again. You need to open your mouth, relax your tongue, loosen your muscle, control your flow. You need to get your mind mentally ready and your bodily mechanism physically ready in order to speak English fluently. In order to do that, what you need to do is just one word, practice. As you become more comfortable with the shadowing technique, challenge yourself by using more advanced audio material or increasing the speed of the playback. Pushing yourself out of the comfort zone will make sure you continue to progress and refine your speaking abilities. 
Learning through shadowing methods takes time and dedication, so be patient with yourself and celebrate progress along the way. Stay motivated by setting achievable goals and tracking your improvement over time. No matter how busy you are, just make sure you practice English speaking for at least half an hour per day. Getting 1% better every day counts a lot in the long run. This is a graph that I learned from the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. If you're built your fluency by just 1% a day and keep on building it, imagine what your fluency will be like 6 months later. As long as you are persistent in practicing speaking English every single day, you could have built enough fluency of speaking English that seemed impossible before. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope this video are helpful to you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Share the video to the friends that you think might need this information. Thank you. Bye bye.